Firstly, connect power supply and air supply. Operation introduction. Open the control and power switch. Pay attention to the bump engine rotation direction. The direction has to be counterclockwise. Tire pressing arm switch function. Tire pressing arm moves up and down. Tire lifting arm switch function. Tire lifting arm moves up and down. Central flange forward and back moving function. Moving forward and back. Pneumatic tire pressing roller switch function. Up and down. Reverse switch counterclockwise and clockwise rotating switch. Rotating clockwise and clockwise rotating switch. The lifting function of the automatic lift plate. Up and down. Air manomet function. In flat and deflat tire. Tire demounting demonstration. Move the tire onto the lift plate. Step the pedal in order to lift the tire onto the central flange. Step the pedal again in order to make the lift return to the position. Last but not least, lock the tire with a quick release nut. Use the tire pressing disc and the tire lifting disc. Detach the beam from the ring and lubricate the beam and the tire. Move the mounting head into position and press down. Insert the bead lifting lever, which is spired with lubrication into the bead. Remove the tire pressing arm. Press the bead opposite to the mounting bead with the tire pressing device. Raise the bead with the lever. Rotate the turntable. Fully detach the beam from the ring. Use the tire lifting disc to lift the tire. Rotate the tire to detach the beam from the ring. Mounting demonstration. Spare the lubrication onto the ring and bead. Put the tire onto the ring. Put the mounting head into position. Rotate the tire clockwise. Make the low side of the tire onto the rim. Place the tire pressing loader into the proper position. Then press down. Rotate the wheel unit. The tire is fully into the seating. Move away help arm and the mounting head. Install the tire valve into the wheel. Inflate the tire until the pressure reaches the required pressure. There is a deflating button below the air manometer. When the overflighting happened, please deflate the tire. 